What's up my friends? Welcome to today's video. This is a super weird and impromptu video that I'm doing right now. And that's okay, it is what it is because number one, I had a horrible IBS flare up this week. Talked about it in my other video. I've been talking about it on Instagram. This is probably one of the worst ones I've had in a while and I haven't really been going to the gym much or really doing anything except cleaning my house. And so in the process of just like messing around on the internet, I came across this Dyson Air Wrap Complete. Actually, I was watching a show in the commercial for this came on and I was like, why do I need this? I don't know, but I do. I decided that <laughs> feeling sorry for myself, I would just go buy me one of these guys and try it out because this is this is one of those things where like, yes, you look at the price tag and you're like, oh, are you really spending $550 on a blow dryer? But hear me out you can do multiple things with this. So like you have different wands that also dry your hair while curling it. So not only are you saving, you know, multiple things, you don't need as many curling irons or blow dryers, you're also saving time. And I'm big on that. Dyson's just a good brand in general. And then I figured, so many people always ask me about my hair extensions and my hair care in general, so why not make a full video out, out of it while giving my first impressions and I just got out of the shower, so I'm gonna dry my hair anyway. So that's how today's video was born. <laughs> Welcome to the video. With my shampoo and conditioner, I have three different brands that I really like. The first one's Pureology. I've been using them the longest and I specifically like their purple shampoo and conditioner for blonde hair because it's like an, an actual purple that doesn't dry your hair out and it doesn't tint it a gray or silverish color. Then also I've been really into Brio Briogeo. I <laughs> think that's how you say this. I bought this at Sephora. Um, I like the smoothing conditioner and the deep conditioning treatment. That's what I used on my hair today. And then I am putting this farewell frizz in first. And I'm still going to use a heat protective because even though it's less damaging, it's still heat on my hair, which I try not to do too much. And as a disclaimer, everything that you're seeing in today's video, I have purchased with my own money and none of it was gifted to me or exchanged for a review. So not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just want you to know that yes, I did spend $550 on this dryer and I need to know if it's worth it. So we're gonna find out. First thing I think is cool is, hang on. Okay. I think it's really nice that it comes in this little luggage compartment. So open it up and it's gonna need to tell me because, oh, you can watch films. I love that. So it gives you this little card here that tells you how to dry your hair with the barrel. I'm just so interested in that. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is huge. Okay. I know a lot of people rave about the regular Dyson blow dryer. My best friend has it. My hairstylist uses it on me and it does dry your hair really fast and it's very, very nice. I will say a lot of like the newer salons these days are carrying those as like their standard. So that's saying something. I mean, I feel like Dyson is a quality brand. So really there's nothing else that you need to know here about this except for the fact that you just kind of In order to actually turn this guy on, I just thought it was gonna be like a regular blow dryer where you just, you know, flip the little fan guys on. But you actually have to push the cool blast up and then it turns on. So I'm gonna kind of dry a little bit. Okay, so I don't wanna get it too dry because I wanna actually see if this works. What I'm going to do is just wing it as I usually do with these things. And I'm going to section my hair where I have my one weft of extensions. People do ask me quite a bit about my extensions and I've used Perfectress for the last year and a half. That's how long I've had them. Um, this is the same hair that I've had since last August. So it lasts quite a while and we did cut it and go down from one I'm sorry, from two wefts, one being a double density and then one a single density, to one weft being a double density for the summertime so that I could have my hair short and just a lot easier to style for the time being. Where mine is placed is right here. You can see it's kind of just like all connected. And I'm going to unlock this guy. Oh, that is cool. All right, so I was wondering why there's two, now I know why. <laughs> one pulls the hair in, in a specific direction this way and the other pulls it this way. So I guess maybe if you prefer your curls to go inward, you would have to put one on. I can't really tell based on, you know, which one this is, but. I 
I had to do it upside down. Okay, so I, I get the idea, but like as you can see, when I move it close to my head like it says to do, it doesn't catch all of the hair in there. So perhaps I need a smaller portion of hair. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen, just so we're clear. Aha! Okay, that one was better. But that one definitely went a lot better. I think it, it's like anything, you need more practice, you know? You wanna try the um, smoothing one because that, I feel, is... This is a dryer in the brush, which I've heard is really cool. So I did sit a couple of those, but there's still some damp pieces in my hair, so... If you have short hair and you need to blow dry your hair quick, I feel like, especially for short hair girls, if I just take a regular blow dryer and just blow dry it really fast if I'm in a hurry for something, I literally look like I put my finger in a light socket. It looks like a troll hair. So for that, that smoothing brush is really nice because it dried it super fast. And I still have some more damp pieces, so I'm gonna just do the rest of it with the smoothing. This is the other one, which I think is the more flexible one, but I just felt like this one would be better for short hair. So, all right, I'm gonna do the rest of this and then I'll see what it looks like. So, that is very nice, I will say. That is probably the best blow dryer contraption I've ever used. The curling, I'm not 100% sure on yet. I'm gonna have to probably give that another chance, but I just kinda wanna try all the things. And then this is like the regular bristle brush. This is what I would typically use to blow dry my hair with, but this is supposed to give you more volume. So I'm gonna do that on this side and see if there's any difference. really good comparison and I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera but when I blow my hair out and it's not fully dry yet but just to give you an idea when I blow my hair out with a round bristle brush it typically does get a bit frizzy like this and this is my natural hair at the top obviously so it's just a little bit more porous and as you can see on this side this was just a lot more smoothed so I definitely think out of all the brushes the most realistic one that I would personally use would be that smoothing one so I'm gonna pop that one back on and just finish this out because I want to dry the rest of it before I curl it. After I blow dry my hair, I always put in a little bit of serum just because, you know, after you use heat on it, I wanna make sure it's nice and moisturized. This is from Olifica and I have had this since, God, 2017 I think that same bottle has lasted me forever it's one of my favorite hair serums of all time and it smells so amazing you know when you eat lower quality foods you feel worse if you eat better quality foods you feel better I feel it's the same for hair products and makeup and skincare especially so I can absolutely 100% feel a difference with that smoothing brush and I can tell you for sure I will use that like every single time I dry my hair now, like I said, I feel like I have to play around a bit with those curls because they did hold really well and I felt like maybe you just have to use very small pieces. So I think for somebody who has a lot of hair or very thick hair, that may not be the best option for you. But I don't think that Dyson makes just this. Like in an ideal world, if I could just buy this, I would be super happy because I feel like this is all I'll use out of it but maybe they will, or maybe they do, and I just don't know. So anyways, we're going to curl this because we have never, no wait, I'm kidding. I've done one hair tutorial on my channel, but I have not done it in quite a few years. 
And when I have my hair curled, I do get some girls that are like, how do you curl your hair? So like I said, today's the hair video. Men, oops, I'm, I'm sorry. This is not a video for you today. It's for my girls. So I'm gonna show you how I curl it. I use a Paul Mitchell Pro Tools Express Gold Tools. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the box to this anymore, so I'm not sure the size, but maybe like two inches. Well, wait, let me compare it to this guy. Yeah, I would say that's about maybe two inches or 1.75. I always personally like to use a curling iron instead of a wand. I used to use a wand back in the day, but if you don't have very smooth hair, you'll get a curl for a little bit, but because if you have frizzy hair, it will just kind of end up frizzing out because you're not getting anything to actually smooth the cuticle of your hair. So for me, and like I said, I like to do everything away from my face. So I grab a small inch portion like this. How many things can I drop in this video? I take sections of my hair upwards. I don't know if that will make sense how I'm saying that, but I don't grab from the side like so. I grab up just like this, and I turn my curling iron upside down away from my face, and I go ahead and smooth out that portion till I get to about the bottom, and then I curl away from my face like this. And I can show you two different ways that I do it. I flip it upside down sometimes, or I'll do it the other way. Either is fine as long as um, you are curling away from your face, because for me, I just feel like that gives a much more beachy wave, and then you can kind of just run your fingers through it like this. The other way to do it is just this way, pull it down to the ends, and then twirl the barrel up. Sometimes you have to kind of open the clamp a little bit to let the hair fall down towards the bottom, especially if you have longer hair. So I would suggest if you do have longer hair to do it this way because then you can catch more hair at the bottom. But for me right now, because I got little short hairs, that doesn't really matter. So then I just go ahead and do the same exact thing to the other portions. And as you can see, like now I'm getting up towards the top. So what I'll do is stop there then drop it down a little bit more and curl towards the rest of my head. I'm gonna do this basically all the way around on the bottom layer. I only split my hair into the lower and upper section because of my weft. So I'm gonna do this all the way around and then come back for the top. I just kind of give this a little spray so that it holds the curls and then I move on to the top portion which I do not curl all the way to the top of my scalp. I'll start the curl probably about almost halfway down, I would say. And I do the same thing, I grab sections upwards, so the pieces that I'm getting are laying vertical the way I'm holding it, if that makes sense. So hopefully you can tell the way I'm doing that in this video. If not, you'll have to play around with it so that you can get the feel for it. But I do the same thing, curl just like that. And with these pieces, because they are not as thick, I don't need to hold the curl for that long, so. This part doesn't really take me very long at all. personally been liking to do lately is after they've kind of cooled off a little bit instead of taking my fingers and running through it like I used to do and I sometimes still do if I'm just like in a hurry I'll take a wide tooth comb and kind of just like gently brush through them so you still get like the bounciness of the curls but they're just not so ringletty if that makes sense they just kind of turn into a bit more of a beachy wave just a couple of times through is all you really need to do. So you can kind of see the difference. It's just more relaxed on this side than on this side. And then I just take the wide tooth comb through and do the same thing. And there we have it. That is how I style my short extensioned hair. There aren't very many things as far as my current extensions that I have to like do extra with. I'm just not really able to tie it up in a super high tight ponytail like I have done in the past without extensions and obviously you know you can see the weft so I don't typically like pull all the top half of my hair up if I'm gonna wear it like that it's just this top section but honestly overall it's it was more of a pain with the length because I felt like it was just so much hair to work with, whereas this is a lot more manageable and it's only one weft as, 
opposed to two, which is what I had before. So just something to keep in mind if you are somebody who wants something more manageable, I would not recommend the tape and extensions. I've had those in the past and they have to be fully dry every time you get them wet. They were like super itchy. Some of them would kind of like flip up and there was just too many things going on. I did not like my experience with them at all and I used two different brands with those. Really with the maintenance portion, just having one weft is definitely not as bad, but I will say no matter what you choose to do, if you go the natural beaded rose or the hand tied, whatever, it's going to be number one, a lot more time in the salon and number two, the price, obviously. Um, the more quality that you get, the more hair that you get, the length that you get, and then having to color them, which for me, I don't even know if you can tell, but the top part of these are dyed the same color as my actual root so that it blends. I just prefer a more rooted blonde look to have my top portion of my hair a little bit darker than the end. And so all of that plus the cost of hair, to ship the hair, to color it, install it, and then you have to think about, you have to go and get them moved them up every four to six weeks and get them toned and cut so that they're healthy. So it's all about what you put into it, but they're definitely not a cheap option, which sucks because I prefer the look of my own hair with just more volume and more density. So it's like catch 22, you know? But every hair salon is different. I can't say that like it's X amount of dollars per I don't know because I don't know what people charge to put in. What I paid was what the Perfectress hair extensions cost um, and then to ship them and install and all of that was basically based off of the salon that I go to. So, so that is where I will end today's video. I really did like the Dyson thing. I hate that it's $550 because it is quite a decent amount to spend on a freaking hair dryer. But I will say it definitely feels exactly how it feels like when I leave the salon. So that is kind of a nice thing if you're somebody who does your hair quite often. So anyways, I definitely give it two thumbs up. If I was gonna rate it, I'd say like a 7.5 out of 10. But the smoothing brush is legit. The smoothing brush is definitely a 10 out of 10. So let me know what your thoughts are. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.